you've got costumes, you've got character, you've got culture, you've got tradition. You know, Mardi Gras is wild and crazy and we do some fun things, but it brings a lot of bad things to the city sometimes. Shannon Krieger is a computer forensics analyst for Homeland Security Investigations in his hometown of New Orleans. He works in the Cyber Crimes Division tracking child predators online. As child exploitation, people were busy this time of the year. For example, monitoring chat rooms to identify people planning to come to Mardi Gras to have sex with children. There's a lot to do because of Mardi Gras, because a lot of people are here that aren't normally here, and they bring some really bad habits with them. Krieger has been doing this work for the past four years, but it's his experience from many years earlier that makes him especially suited for the job. As a member of the U.S. Army Special Operations Command Delta Force, Krieger was on the front line. That particular type of work is empowering. It really is. And you get on the tip of the spear and, and you get this really huge, giant sense of accomplishment. All that changed in a heartbeat. Shortly after 9-11, I was involved in the retaliatory strike against Al-Qaeda. And I was in a helicopter crash that pretty much took my body and, and, and decided that I couldn't do this work anymore. I was, you know, didn't know if I was going to walk normal ever again. Krieger was medically discharged from the Army in 2004. And when I left, I just rock bottomed. I got taken out of something that I loved more than anything. Um, and surprisingly enough, when I got involved with the Hero Corps, it replaced a lot of what I had missed. Hero Corps is an initiative that takes disabled Special Forces veterans, trains them in computer forensics, and puts them in field labs across the country where they work on child exploitation cases. I get to fight again. I get to be involved in a cause that matters. He's part of our team now, and that he's now from the battlefield to uh, a cyber warrior, and, and it does a lot for us on an inspirational side that he's able to, to give that, that extra little notch and click of, you know, a true hero and patriot is part of our team. I'm starting to feel like I used to feel. I'm starting to feel empowered. I'm starting to feel motivated again. I'm starting to to want to push because, you know, while it is a new battlefield, it's still a battlefield. As a husband and father of a three-year-old, Rieger says doing this work has had an impact on his personal life as well. I don't know if I'll ever sleep again. The toughest ones are the three-year-old boy. Those, those are the ones that, that just hurt me the most. The satisfaction he gets putting predators behind bars, he says, makes it all worth it. I try not to go, oh, the Hero Corps saved me. But it, it, it really kind of did, in a sense, because when you get something back that you never thought you would ever get again, it's a second chance.